Hey the berries, welcome to Diamond on EUS. We're doing an AP Lux support game with a Jin, and we're up against a Janna Kaiser. So we should be okay to poke and harass down here. Um, me and Jin can easily poke. The only one that can really reply properly is the Janna. So we should generally be okay. And um, we've got two aggressive junglers in this game with the Lee Sin and the Jarvan. They could potentially do early ganks, so we do need to be a little bit careful of that. But other than that, I don't think this laning phase in particular should be too difficult unless there's a, uh, a first blood. Crap. <laughs> I was like, holding patiently there just in case, you know, they were going to commit flashes or anything like that. Missed out on 20 gold and a mana flow band stack. Don't usually like starting Q either. I only take it for invades. It's quite difficult to land your Q. Level 1 in laning phase. So it's going to reduce my damage early. Well, we'll see what we can do. In terms of actual items here, um, I will probably just do an Imperial Mandate. And see how that goes. I don't recall testing Imperial Mandate properly on AP locks, but it should be fine to do. Otherwise, we could do a Night Harvester. Don't really want something like a Leandries unless they had like maybe two, three tanks or high HP targets. Shame Jin couldn't get in for an auto attack though. The quicker we get level 2, the quicker I get my E. The quicker I'll be happy. My Q did hit the Janna though. We need to be slightly respectful of Lee Sim coming down early, but I don't think he will be. Jenna's already had to use both her health potions. We'll probably end up doing another point in E before putting a point in W just to increase the damage of it. to ignite range it wouldn't have been enough anyway but would have been spicy not really up on gold at the moment but obviously in the harassment factor we're winning can eat your cookie here for mana Dark Harvest stack there for the gym. Pop another cookie for mana. And Jarvan's around, he wants to tower dive. The only problem is, is that the uh, the minion situation here is not particularly great. Let's see what Kaiser does with this. Okay. Seems like we'll have Lee Sin coming down. Wouldn't say that was a clean tower dive, but we got what we needed to, to happen there. We have nobody dying as well. Alright, let's start moving towards the Imperial. 
Um, okay, we'll just do one half potion. I want really wanted a control warden, and I don't want to wait for a refillable. So far, really good start around the map. Tops 1 0, mids 2 0, I'm 1 0. We're doing pretty well. Eason's top. Sign has no ult to get away there. Jung uh, the someone ping Drake, but this is such a big wave here that it would be quite difficult to accommodate that. a little if just keep also attacking here there we go Hmm. Maybe I should have tried flashing over that wall a little bit quicker. I saw Fizz hit and run there, but Camille's getting to clean up quite a bit here. Not that bad overall, though. I'm already nearly at the Imperial Mandate. Need 750 gold. I've got three boots coming in through, through the runes. But this wave isn't great though for me or the gin, so we're gonna lose that on some XP here. Stand stalwart by creation. Sion just gets some free time on that turret. He gets two turret platings for the Camille roaming, so that makes up for a kill that the Camille got. Not including all the extra XP and CS he got from minions. Gonna make sure there's no way for anyone to teleport behind us. Galio will have his ulti though, so we need to respect that a little bit. And it will work quite nicely with the Kaiser ult when she zooms in. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I took way too many turret hits there, but it wouldn't have made a single difference in terms of the actual outcome there. We were overextending way too far there. Should have respected the fact that Jarvin was topside. I think I lost like 700 health to the turret. Uh, Jana was actually baiting, I think. I don't think it was like an accident what she did there. I think it was an actual bait. Jin wants me to go mid, but I don't really see the point. About to get our ultimates through. Chicken wards in the lane again. I can't afford to have a teleport behind us, otherwise we'll just die again. And then the binding, I think we just go and just zap them straight away. I was considering it there. We've got Fizz coming down. I've got my free boots now. Crap. So apparently I did hit someone there. Didn't feel like I did.
That turret hit. That's unlucky. That must have been the dot left over on the Janna, I guess. Yeah, I didn't feel like my ult hit anything there, but... Take one more wave, then maybe. Sorry about Kaiser pushing this thing quite quickly. This isn't a cannon wave. the Imperial Mandate. Can't get boots upgrade, but we can buy a cheeky control ward. Next item we're looking for is... Could maybe look at a Horizon Focus. I'll be up for that. Jarvan has ulti. Fizz is getting ulti in about 5 seconds time. It's a nice double knock, knock up there with the Lee Sin Coke. Kai's is dead. Fizz ult on Lee. Okay, cool. Alright, I need to go mid then. Science mid with ulti. Driving's quite low. Jin's got ult. It's a shame he missed that W there though. Should have landed that Q. Maybe I should have died there. Where I need to be a little bit more careful. This is ulti in about 10 seconds. I'm here. That looks so glitchy there with my Q. Okay. He seemed to like go up in super slow mo. Does that look weird for anyone else, or is that just for me? That just seemed weird. Fizz might... no. Nah. Okay, so Fizz, I was going to say Fizz might be able to get a turret plate then. Need Sork Shoes next. We haven't had a Drake yet. We took the first one, the Ocean Drake. Didn't have a spare control ward for the actual pit here. But Jarvan does have one. Camille's on half HP for now. Another double binding. We're getting quite low. Okay. That was a bit mean. Lee Sin should die here. Jin died in that fight too. These are the last two though. Camille's probably going to get the dash away, but we should be able to get Galio.
Alright, a 4 for 2 and we should be able to get this dragon. Not too bad. There's a herald up in 5 seconds time that I would like to play for. Yeah. Oh, oh, the Kaiser W. I actually popped my shield, and then it was the ignite tick that got me. Jin's almost got his ult back up, but he's gonna get to. Got ulti to help wave clear this if needed. Fizzle on the Lee. Ends up being one for one really there in that sp specific fight. Thought we could maybe get more there. Keep having like Cyan nearby but he and with ulti but he's not like using it for that. Imperial Mandate doing 1k damage already. That's alright. Turn into a real messy game now. Fizz is on 10 kills. Jarvis on 5. On the other team, you got Lee and Kaiser on 5. Even though the Galio isn't doing t well in terms of KDA, he's providing a decent amount of crowd control to set up his team. So. He's still kind of doing his job. One E doing is that 400, 500 damage there to the Janna. Okay, we've managed to find a pick on Camille. Sounds like here. I don't know if he's like here here though, like if he's gonna ult mid or not. Crap, they're actually like going for it. Thought they were gonna turn onto me there quickly. Dragons up soon, 40 seconds. This is a nice Herald push actually. We can maybe get this to tier 3. If we can kill this turret without Shelly hitting it, that would be huge. But I don't think that's going to happen, is it? Yeah, maybe Shelly should have been held off until the, this turret. We can hit, get this to hit tier 3. Yeah, that's tier 3. Camille's still bot, we can get in here. Get it, get it.
Nice. Only one binding now, saving for double. This is weird, this fight. Got the binding, wasn't too sure. Uh, we've got no we've got no way to end. We can't actually end. We can get the dragon. The respawn timers are too too long and the minions are too far away to end. Are they surrendered? Okay, that works too. Yeah, there was a couple of nice fights. I think I played overall okay in that. It wasn't like anything too spectacular, but you know, we did our, did what we needed to do. I think I don't think it was everyone on our team didn't play that cleanly, but there was a lot of flaming in the chat, but it went all right. All these missions in the way. Just want to see how much damage I did that game. <laughs> um, pretty good. Even though like Jin only had three kills. I mean, I think he only picked up like one or two of those at the very end. He still was top on damage in our team. I was second as well with the Imperial Mandate. So it just shows that Imperial Mandate is really good right now. I mean, it's not worth looking at like the Leandries or Night Harvest at the moment while Night Har uh while Imperial Mandate is just so strong right now. It's like literally the best support item in the game if you can take it on a champion. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that luck support game. If you're watching this on YouTube, then don't forget to subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to follow. And don't forget to say very awesome.